Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Stay tuned because I'm going to take you through a very nice back sesh. Back anytime, fitness and Stroud. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So guys, you will see me do quite a few shrugs over the last few weeks on my videos. So it's just because it's a very good exercise for the, the upper traps. So we will grab the bar, just by the shoulder width. Make sure your feet are nice and flat. And you're going to bring the shoulders back and chest up. That's why I say a lot of people go wrong, they always tend to round their shoulders. Always make sure your shoulders are up, back, and chest is elevated and we're going to push up the glutes just to lift and once you've lifted again keep the shoulders back and just gently bend the knees and then draw the bar upwards now you're trying to bring your shoulders to your ears now you don't have to go as high as possible you can just do a mini shrug like this but if you want to get even more definition every time Take your time, so you draw it up and bring it down. When you finish, bend the knees, bring the bar back down, and you've got a nice barbell shrug. You can do this with dumbbells, so you can have the dumbbells facing the front, just on your side, do the same thing, like you've seen in previous videos. But barbell shrug is really, really good because it will keep your balance on point. Because some people might be a bit unbalanced. Okay then, so for a straight arm pull down, we're going to have a rope attachment, attach to a high pulley. We're going to select our weight obviously with the pin. We're going to pull it down, take a nice step back. We're going to extend up. We're going to push the bottom backwards, keep bending the knees, and slowly, under control, we're going to draw and pull the weight down and up. To do this correctly, straight back, you can engage your lats and create a little bit of width to the back. When you finished, must simply bring it back up and do a step forward. that pull down. There's a couple of variations you can do. I've seen a lot of people extend the glutes. So the standard that pull down. So make sure your feet are nice and flat. Bring yourself tucked underneath the pad. So I see a lot of people kind of do this kind of momentum. You shouldn't be doing this. Otherwise it's too heavy. So you should be able to keep your chest up, relax the shoulders and you shouldn't be pulling down with the arms. Some people pull down with the biceps like this. You shouldn't be doing. You're pulling through the lats. So draw it down. So through using the back. And then up nice and slow. So do it under control. And don't use momentum. Always take your time. That's the first. I see a lot of people mess up. The other one is when you want to do more of a, a row, which you can do. But again, a lot of people do this and jolt themselves like that, don't do that. You should bring yourself back, and then again, engage the back, and draw it down to the chest, and pull the elbows back. So despite doing the variation for that pull down, or the modified row basically, I'm still gonna do an over row. Um, to do two more basically. So again, feet, keep your back nice and straight, shoulders back, cheeks elevated, and initially you have to get your legs push up. You want to get yourself into a comfortable position. Keep legs bent, all the way up, elbows up, back, flat. 
process. exercises a pull up now a few different variations you can do overhand to get more of the lats you can do underhand which will fire more of your biceps um, there's loads of different hand placements you can do you can do wide grip narrow grip you can, you know, because i've got enough strength to do this i'll demonstrate this and i'll demonstrate the assistance of the machine as well you know. so i'm gonna jump some people can't reach but i'm gonna jump i'm gonna hold Feel my comb walk on the back of my head and then um, I'm going to draw myself up slowly and down up and down and if you watch I'm not using momentum I'm not swinging my body I'm engaging my core my feet I'm not being swung I'm taking my time to control the movement just like that your weight stack just down here you'll stretch your weight the more weight you select the easier it will be because it's about counterbalancing your weight. So if you put minimal weight on, there's going to be more independence coming from you, more effort. If you put more weight on, it will assist you. Put your foot on here, you've got points of contact, hand on here, face on the platform. And you can, again, you can go for underhand if you're engaged to one of your biceps. You can go for medium, you can go for wide. Now, don't just do wide independently on the bar, you can go wide through here. So I'm going to step up as well, make sure I'm comfortable. I'm going to place one knee on, like so, and the other knee on as well. So you need to keep yourself engaged. You don't want to just drop because you're going to hurt your shoulders and your arms. So always make sure you engage your point from here. So you're going to come down and pull yourself up. So you're going to draw your chest up and down and up. And again, it'd be very easy to go up and down and use momentum. But again, you take slow and controlled repetitions, just like so. And take your time. And then when you're ready, bring yourself up, place your foot on the platform, and then bring your hands down and you can step down just like so. Now, if you wanted to do dips, these bars here you can use. So these ones rotate. So again, the main principle, you would step on just like so. I keep my hands here though, but same concept, bring my knees onto the pad, keep the tension in the triceps, bring myself down slowly, and then extend and come up. Down and up, down and up. Again, control the breath, control the speed, when you're finished, bring yourself to the highest point you can. Don't lock your, knee, your elbows up like so. Keep a slight bend. Bring one foot onto the platform. Bring the pad up slowly. And then you can just gently step down. Just like so. Now eventually, you'll want to work your way to using dip bars. So these ones are adjustable, so you can put these on a machine at different heights. But some gyms will have them fixed. Or again, if you don't have those, you can just use the assistant pull-up machine. If you watch this clip right here, you'll see I'm going to pull the pin out. I'm going to push the pad down. And then I'm also going to reverse this as well to engage that pad. So now I'll reverse the process. I'll pull the pad up, make sure the pin's locked in, and you're good to go. Now, when it comes to doing it independently, I am going to, a bit like, you know, a gymnast. <laughs> If you like, I'm going to jump. And again, you don't want to lock your elbows and put a lot of pressure on your elbows because I'm only 73 kg, but you don't want to put a lot of force and a lot of weight through the elbows. So don't lock them. A slight bend. So you're going to jump, keep a slight bend, bring yourself down and up. Just like so. finished bring myself down nice and slowly that back session really really good pump really good engagement and as always i talk about form so much but i 
can't stress. Posture, consistency, and maintaining great form, you'll get massive, massive gains. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, like really, really big, really, really small, you will get true gains as long as you're consistent but have a great posture. I see people use momentum when it comes to arms, shoulders, back, even legs. Don't do that. Always use the right posture. I literally just watched the Olympics, this being Sunday, when I uh, filmed this video and just watching the gymnasts. We've seen the males and now, just watching the females. It's absolutely insane how people have the core strength to deal with this. Because it's not easy, they make it look so easy, but absolutely amazing. So, anytime fitness is stroud, we've got TVs with the Olympics on, so uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. But anybody out there, even if your goal is not to be in the Olympics, you can go and smash it. Always believe in yourself because you are the only person who can make change. You can be inspired by people and all that stuff, but only you can make the change. So, without further ado, guys, thanks for watching the video. Take care. As always, we'll make the movement. Go watch my most recent upload and I will see you on the next one.